Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and I am still getting over that final 100th episode of River Vale, the Jughead Paradox. I have to say, what a finale. But the best thing is, there's still loads of season 6 to come, so today we're going to be discussing everything we currently know about the rest of season 6, and let's get into it. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below, and have your notifications turned on, so that you get notified every time we make any brand new Riverdale videos. So, Season 6 is set to return on Sunday the 6th of March 2022, so it will move from its usual Tuesday viewing to a Sunday, so any UK fans can expect it to appear on Netflix on the Monday. Judging by how long a season is, we can assume it will last till between around June and July 2022, depending if it has its usual break than it normally does in between. Season 6 will be taking off right where the end of the Jughead Paradox did, but also where the end of Season 5 did. Cheryl has just cursed Betty, Jughead and Archie for their ancestors' doings towards Cheryl's ancestor Abigail. Hiram has left Riverdale and Betty and Archie find a bomb underneath the bed. Luckily, because of the whole Rivervale parallel universe thing, the Rivervale Jughead calls Betty and tells them to get out of the house, and we assume they do just before the house has been destroyed. So we're kind of taking off from here and now seeing how the new town of Riverdale is working after Hiram has gone and now without Thornhill's main input. However, you may be asking, well, what was the point of Rivervale in the first place apart from that incredible last episode? Well, apparently we aren't done with Rivervale just yet. Even though Rivervale is a separate, I'm gonna say pocket universe, it still managed to affect Riverdale by allowing Jughead to call Betty and basically saving Betty and Archie from the bomb, which created Rivervale in the first place. That's sure going to begin getting people suspicious when Betty and Jughead put together that it was another Jughead who called Betty. And the creator of the show, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, has said that the events of River Vale will directly affect River Dale. Now, that can mean many different things. He could be meaning some of the things we learn in Rivervale are also true in Riverdale, such as the things that happened to Cheryl's ancestors. It could mean the possibility of other parallel universes or time loops like how Rivervale is in currently, or could mean someone from Rivervale is coming into Riverdale, maybe another Jughead returning, or even some mystical character like the supernatural villains that don't exist in Riverdale, but they could do if they crossed over. There's huge amounts of possibilities of where this could go, but I reckon it will probably be picked up on at first, and then picked up again in the season finale. Speaking of River Vale, I think one of the most influential episodes from that will be The Witching Hours, the one where Sabrina returned in, which dwelled more into the Blossoms heritage. This season will primarily focus on the curse that Cheryl invoked on Betty, Jughead and Archie, and whether the show wants to take the curse seriously or not, it opens the doorway to find out a lot more about the origins of Riverdale. Like how season 3 focused on the parents' origins, this season will likely focus on the birth of Riverdale as they rebuild the town after Hiram's reign. Along with that, we are also being introduced to a new character, Percival Pickens, who will be played by Chris O'Shea. Now, if that name sounds familiar, Familiar to you, it's because Percival Pickens is a descendant of one of the founding fathers of Riverdale, General Pickens. If you want a full recap of everything to do with the history of Riverdale and General Pickens and how it relates to Thornhill and the Blossoms, then you can go and check out my full recap on the timeline of Riverdale by either clicking the card up there or there'll be a link down below in the description. I honestly recommend you go and check it out because it just gives you a refresh of things that were discussed in like season one and season two. Basically, General Pickens and Barnabas B. Blossom removed the Utah a tribe from their land, which is now where the Blossom Maple Groves and Sweetwater River is, and the Utana tribe stayed in the south and became the Southside Serpents. So Percival Pickens has a long family history with good terms on the Blossom side, but bad terms with people like Tony's family, and considering we're already looking at the Blossom ancestry, you can see how these things are linked, and we're hopefully going to be getting a full history of why the town is so messed up. Percival is set to be a manipulative mover and shaker who's set to get under the skins of many of the Riverdale citizens, including Archie's, and it looks like Cheryl and Tony's as well. He intends on creating a utopia out of Riverdale and will do what he must do to achieve his goal, even if that involves some conflict. So it looks like we're going to be getting a kind of similar thing to what Hiram Lodge did, but instead of trying to do it just for himself, 
This guy seems to be trying to do it for the whole town, but might be going about it in a really bad way. But what I'm really excited for is we are finally going to see some of the history and some of the heritage and ancestry for Riverdale. So it can give us some explanation as to why this town is the way it is. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, let us know down below in the comments what you thought of Rivervale, the five episode event. And are you excited for the rest of season six in Riverdale? Let me know all your thoughts down below there. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.